Genome sequencing has now been performed on quite a number of cancers, including the Tasmanian Devil facial tumour disease. When we sequence a genome and the sequence comes out of the DNA sequencing machine, all we have is really a string of chemical letters. There are four chemical letters in DNA. They're A, C, G and T. So a genome, literally, when we look at it on a page, is a string of A's, C's, G's and T's. But occasionally what can happen is a mutation occurs, which means that one chemical letter becomes a different chemical letter. And usually this has no consequences at all. This actually happens all the time. But very rarely this can occur at an important place in the DNA, which is inside a gene, which can cause that cell to start dividing abnormally, and that's cancer. We've sequenced several Tasmanian devil tumour disease genomes now, and our studies have told us that the cancer has about 20,000 mutations that have arisen since the disease has been cancerous. The patterns of these mutations have indicated that the cancer itself is relatively stable, that despite the fact that it's spread uh, throughout the devil population for several decades now, the disease has acquired relatively few mutations compared to some other human cancers. This is interesting because it suggests to us that having a relatively stable genome may provide an advantage for a cancer to survive long term and to spread through the population as a contagious cell line.